one. Or I think this is the last one anyway. Alright, now now we gotta clean it up. YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. And in today's video, of course, we're talking about more Evisu. And this is kind of like my quarantine Evisu pickups for the past like half a year. Uh, and also my top five Evisus that I always wear on a day to day basis. So let's get it. <laughs> All right, so like I just mentioned, this is like semi quarantine related because these are a lot of the pairs that I just wear every day um, I actually already started work so technically I'm not in quarantine anymore um, but these are pickups as of the past half year uh, or a little bit longer for some of them and I think throughout some of the other pickup videos that I've done a lot of other people have like questions on like where to buy EVSUs um, which EVSUs I like particularly which ones fit well because there's so many different fits they make they, won't, they almost make too many fits, if you if you ask me. But well, hopefully by running through some of these top five that I have here today, uh, it can help out you too. And if you have like fitting questions and stuff, put them in the comment section and we can converse there. Oh, also, before I start this video, I just made a fake versus real video when it comes to Evisu jeans. I've had quite a few people ask me to make that video, even though those type of videos, they really just don't get views. I'm doing this for you guys, so then you guys can stay up to date so I don't have to answer to so many messages. Um, so again, check that video out. It'll kind of tell you the little nuances between the replicas and the authentics. And also very quickly, if for those who are wondering where to buy Evisus, obviously there's evisu.com, there is Nero Fashion, Nero Fashion, I believe I'm saying that correctly. And then you got your third party reselling sites like the Grails, the Ebays, the Depops, all of those type of sites are going to have people that sell Evisu. Sometimes they tax, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can find sales on evisu.com that also work out. Uh, really well but those are my main outlets on the ones i go with so let's move on all right so this is the first one we got up uh this is like literally just the first one on, on the top of the pile here um i don't think i've ever talked about these in any video that I have but a big reason why I never talked about them is because I never wore them until like this past couple weeks being in quarantine I mean I haven't really gone anywhere um, but I've been wearing them because uh, you know what happens is that you, you buy so many pants and then as the seasons change and as the trends change you end up coming back to certain types of fits like this fit right here is it's like a it's like a slim it's like slim baggy it's more baggy up top than it is down on the bottom um, this is a fit 0005 but it fits a little bit more like a 2017 fit when it comes to evisu 2017 i believe is a carrot fit this one released in 2000 and i think 13 or 14 it's been a while since this one came out it was a long time ago but i had one way back in the day when i was still in high school and it was one of the one of like the third or fourth pairs of Evisu I ever bought off the actual website and I bought a size 36 and they were massive, okay? Because I used to wear like really baggy clothes back then. But I got really lucky and I found these on eBay maybe uh, half a year ago or so and it was like $65, I kid you not. 65, 70 bucks shipping included. It was hard not to pass up because when I bought them on the website at the time, they were like over 330, 340 bucks. It was crazy. It was an insane, it was a pretty expensive, <laughs> but of course you get what you pay for. I mean, if you look at the, uh, the patching on this, the patchwork is so sick. It's like this chenille patch, almost like a varsity jacket. And then it also it's layered. So it's like outlined in white and then black and then white again, uh, on the side there. It just looks sick, man. But again, I didn't, I just didn't wear it when I bought it. It wasn't really my size. This is a size 32. I never rock a 32. I'm always 33, 34 area sometimes 36 if it's like maybe women's evisu and i really i'm a diehard and i just want to buy it i ended up trying this on like two weeks ago and i was like holy shit like these fit me i don't even know how they fit me but they fit me um even though i totally thought all this time they, they don't really fit you know even though this is part of the international evisu website these are definitely for me anyway a collector's you know it's really again it's really hard to find evisus that have goals on both sides in large like this and bold like this let alone it being like a type of patch on the back too just looking perfect both sides far away you can see it. like it just it doesn't get any better than that you know for me this 
this one's definitely like a a pinnacle pair for me even though it doesn't really have a modern touch when it comes to fit for the moment but I can't complain <laughs> All right, next up we got the multi-pocket Evisus. Well, I mean, what more can I say about these, right? I mean, you already know what the deal is when it comes to this. Uh, a lot of uh, archive pages are kind of blowing up the spot right now when it comes to multi-pockets. I actually bought these a couple weeks ago. I, I recently just got these, um, and I'm really hoping and praying that I get uh, some of those other multi-pocket pairs at a, at a decent price. Um, the sizing ended up working out really well. This is a size. Uh, 2008 I think a 2008 is probably the best lot number or size number um, to go for especially if you're buying into Evisu for the first time 2008 is like perfect it's like a straight fit it kind of hovers over your shoe just like just enough um, and it's not it's not like overly baggy but also it's definitely just not a skinny pair of pants I, I do wish that someday Evisu comes out with a multi pocket that is both sides right because multi pockets are always on the back but it would be tight if they did the front too. I mean, you don't, you definitely don't need that many pockets. <laughs> but, but it would be tight because then, like, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, when you take pictures of yourself, I guess selfies, and then you look yourself in the mirror, and it's like, man, I can't see nothing but the back action right now going crazy, right? Oh, and also, if you happen to watch some of my other videos, I did an unboxing for this, so. Uh, go ahead and click that video. Maybe I'll put it in the description or in the comments for you or in my Evisu playlist. Um, I give a lot more context and history to the multi-pocket Evisus because um, there's a lot more information about the multi-pocket that people don't know about. Um, and I share that information on those videos. So go ahead and check that out. When I, when I walk the street, be a street, be a street. about them drugs and sports, all sorts. When I walk the street, all right, next up we got my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. I have, I have a ton of these, man. These are the Puma Evisus, I believe from 2006 or something like that. Someone corrected me in the comments a while ago because I gave the wrong date on it. I thought these were 2009, the Puma Evisu collaboration. Um, I always tell the story, but I'll tell it maybe for a last time. But the Puma Evisu collaboration, to me, in all of Evisu's collaborations is the best collaboration to happen, period. Um, and it was also during a good time. This was also kind of during the fall of Evisu and people just were kind of like turning away and not buying as much Evisu anymore in the States, I don't know about in Asia. Um, but they happened to do this collab with Puma and they made it very accessible. It was to the point where the employees at P the Puma store were wearing the Puma Evisu's. Uh, they sold almost like four or five different fits when you walked in they sold like a super baggy fit like a bell bottom like super boot cut fit uh the skinny fit but i think that skinny fit was for women at the time they made like a straight fit but keep in mind this is like 2005 2006 somewhere around there mid 2000s straight fit means baggy back then okay <laughs> you're like oh yeah straight fit perfect you're gonna go buy it on grail no 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 no. you gotta you gotta ask for measurements because when you buy some of these pants you gotta tailor them so i ended up tailoring this pair uh and that's the reason why the bottom um well actually they don't come salvaged anyway but uh when i brought it to the tailor they ended up changing up um the stitching on the inside because that's that's typically what they do anyways right so check the difference in thickness that's why i say that even on the multi-pocket Evisu, I definitely want the the other pairs because they come with thicker goals in the back. I've really been preaching this on my channel now for like, you know, four videos at this point. You guys are probably sick of me even talking about it. All right, next up we got uh, these Evisus right here. These are the Heritage Evisus. They're actually, they have an official name to them. I always forget it, it starts with a D. This has the all over print on the back, um, the huge M on the back in red color. Right now I'm really looking for this same release, but in white. I want the white one really, really, really bad. I also like this shape. Um, they've done two or three, probably more than two or three, but there's like two or three main um, M's that they typically paint on the back. One looks like an actual paintbrushed M. 
Um, the second one is like a little bit skinnier uh, and it's a little bit more squared off. But then this one's a lot more round. Um, this one looks a little bit more McDonald's to me. I, I don't know why, but I just, I like this one more. And I, I believe the reason why these came out this way is because of Edison Chen, to my knowledge. Edison Chen being, I believe, the, the creative director there. Um, and he was the one that designed it this way. I prefer to look like this. This one looks way better. I've been trying to buy as many of the logos that are digestible enough for me in the size 2008 fit or the fitting of 2008 because they work out really well. It's literally like the most perfect everyday fitting straight legged pair of pants. I love it a lot. I'm gonna stop talking about it. Let's move on. All right, last but certainly not least, I just unboxed this in a little unboxing, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but um, this is my alternative to wanting the all white on the back, because I, I really like this same shape, but I, I need it in white, and I ended up finding these on Grailed for a really affordable price. The guy took forever to ship it, but that, we're not here to talk about that. I have them in hand, so what more can we say about that, right? Another, another, 2008 like I just explained to you 2008 this is a size 33 34 fits perfect on me I, I also love this little detail that they put uh, on the front pocket five pocket denim and they put that little Ivisu uh, logo right there too it looks really sick wow you know what I just noticed too the M actually came off in the middle wow I just noticed that this guy must have washed these so much that it, it just it just disintegrated. You know, actually, I don't even think he's just because he washed it. It's actually because he probably threw it into the dryer too many times. He probably threw it in the dryer like, it had to have been more than six times, seven times. You're not supposed to do that. He's supposed to hang dry it. He didn't hang dry it, but whatever. 2008 fit works perfectly. I mean, it was, you know, a really good deal. And also it falls on the shoes really well. Very, very, loud pair of pants if you ask me <laughs> i know everyone's in quarantine right now so everybody's like wearing their freshest clothes in their room while just sitting on the internet watching other channels like mine about clothes more clothes right but yeah anyways you know a good noteworthy pickup for the past couple months but hopefully in the next pickup video um you know i'll find you know the actual pair that i'm looking for but uh, we will see. Anyways, I'm closing this video out. Uh, I've tried to make that kind of short. So um, I think the gist of it, that if you're if you're trying to catch, you know, what fitting I always go for, it's typically any fit that falls within the straight fit. Usually 001 and or the 2018s usually work really well for me. Anything baggier than that, it just gets it gets a little too. I don't know like I, I when the when the pants get too baggy I like how they sit on top of the shoe but when you go up towards like the knee area and it being like huge especially some of like the the red monkey jeans I have it's, it's not in here right now but the red monkey jeans that I have those those get massive right you're talking about I don't know how many inches is almost damn near a foot on each side right um, but 2008 it creases up enough where it looks good um, and then also it looks good when it falls on top of the shoe um, as well anyways closing this video out make sure you follow me here my at is somewhere on this side or this side keezy tv underscore i try my best to post as much as i can make sure you guys and girls keep it locked it's your boy keezy and i'm out peace you want to do and it's just gonna take a minute but it's gonna work out like like if you try to cut corners and you put costumes on and do shit, yeah, you just, you gonna get straight, but at what cost, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how you feel. When you do this for you, 100% for you, you can grind and stay up for five or six days and not really be tired because it's for you, you, you.